Good morning, afternoon, whatever it is. It's Mike and Arlen, our Philippine journey. Thanks for dropping in. STDs, sexually transmitted diseases, sexually transmitted infections. You know what? <clears throat> this goes along with things that men just need to drill into their mind. We just can't make a big enough impact in talking about it. And I'm going to tell you why I was reminded of it. And then I'm going to, we're going to talk about the different types. We're going to talk about bacterial versus viral. And then we're going to talk about self-diagnostics, self-treatment. Oh, it's a sticky wicket, my friend. All right, let's talk about it. I never got it what you had to go I guess this world's too slow for you I think there's beauty in the gray, the cold But you just want the gold And there's no way I can beat it Cause I got no chance, no chance When it comes to her She got the glitter and the fame And I, I just wasn't enough Okay, a couple things that we have to get out of the way here. First off, we are not dispensing medical knowledge or advice. Everything that we're going to tell you, you can find on the CDC website, the WHO website, and on philippine.gov websites. All right? We're just relaying that information. We are not practicing medicine. Number two. If you find this informative, if you like to get information and or, or intriguing, whatever, please do subscribe and hit that thumbs up. All right. Now, one of the things, and, and I actually made notes because I want to go in order so that this is not discombobulated um, because I think it's really that important. And I'll tell you, first, let me tell you what brought this up. The other morning, I went to breakfast, and Tequila Reef was closed until 4 o'clock in the p.m. because they were going to be having their Christmas party. So I went over to Envy, all right? While I was in Envy, had breakfast, chit-chatted with a couple people, and everybody had things to get done, and they left. I was by myself, and I saw a guy. Now, I know this guy. He lives in our community, let's just say, all right, um, and I had, he approached me for a question, um, oh, I don't know, six, eight, 12 months ago, he uh, said, hey, what do you, you know, I got this, this is my, my theory, and this is my strategy, and he takes antibiotics he self-diagnoses antibiotics prophylactically. So in other words, he is taking antibiotics nonstop so that he doesn't get an STD. And I tried to explain to him why that's foolish. And I tried to explain to him why that's stupid, in my opinion. But obviously. Um, but what was resounding and the reason I started thinking about it is you can clearly see that this guy has lost a good solid 15 to 20 pounds over the past 8 to 12 months. And he was a pretty muscular, I mean, it's not like he was fat, all right? He was a healthy guy, and he still is healthy. So let me, uh, let me, let me just get my notes here, and, and let's just take a look at how we're going to progress. So the first thing here is, is you should be aware of the different types of STDs, the symptomology of it, and you should always seek professional medical advice, all right? And what I'm getting at here is, is quit doing this self-diagnosis. You know, there's a reason why antibiotics are, by law, prescription only in the Philippines and in many other countries. 
And the reason is because the overuse of antibiotics makes people build up immunity to those antibiotics. And we only have so many different kinds of antibiotics, all right? That's just simply all there is to it. We don't have more antibiotics in the pipeline through the pharmacy companies um, because if you're not immune, what's out there currently works fine. Now, when I say immune, they are being repressive. There is yet to find a single case where there is a totally immune STD, all right? And that's as published through the CDC and through data governed, uh, gathered through the WHO. But quit self-diagnosing, all right? That's the first thing. The second thing to remember is that oftentimes STDs, in many instances, not many, but in some instances, they don't show themselves immediately after catching them. And sometimes they cause other problems. And so unless you get professional diagnostics and professional treatment, you may have other problems. But we're going to talk about some of the most prevalent ones, and we're going to talk about what's actually happening. And that's what's more important than anything. Now, hold on. The last thing I'm going to say about that is you get tested, you get treated, and then you get retested because you might be immune. You might be resistant. And in the Philippines, all right, the standard of care is a little different. In other words, if you come down with certain STDs in the U.S., you will get a shot, 500 milligrams of Cetervax, all right? In the Philippines, you'll get a pill prescription, generally. Um, first case around. Don't be embarrassed to show up at the doctor and just simply say, hey, doc, man, my unit is on fire every time I pee. Or, doc, man, this is kind of messy down here. I don't know what this drip, drip, drip is. Um, I don't understand. Or, something doesn't smell right. Okay? All of those things. Go see a qualified medical professional. And let me also say this. The prevalence of STDs in the Philippines is actually not horrible. And when I say not horrible, I'm talking about in comparison to other countries that are horrible. In fact, um, the prevalence of STDs in Thailand is twice as high as in the Philippines. But how many guys here go to Thailand for vacations that live here? How many guys pass through Thailand on their way here and home? How many people make it a stopover? Wow. So, you've got tested. You've come positive. All right? So... Take your medication <clears throat> exactly as prescribed, all right? Those things are in a regimen that is needed at, to stay. Those antibiotics have to stay at a certain level in your body to fight. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Take the advice that you're paying for. Don't go to some province quack, quack, voodoo doctor, all right? Um... And by the way, let me tell you, the rates of ST, uh, basic STDs in the province is very high because even though antibiotics are prescription only, it's not hard to get them there. And it's not hard to get them anywhere, actually. And don't be going to these generic stores and getting antibiotics without a prescription that are off-brand or um, similar to. Get prescription-grade antibiotics. This is the one time or one of the times that you certainly need to have that happen. 
So let's talk about the types here that are basics. We're going to exclude HIV. We're going to exclude HPV. We're going to exclude herpes. I mean, you know, HPV, most men will never even know they have it. Okay. Number two, herpes, um, uh, you know, cold sores, HSV. I mean, all of this is, is, you know, quite evident. But let's talk about syphilis, chlamydia, and gonorrhea. Those are the three biggest ones that you are likely to encounter. Um, these things require treatment. Uh, and, and I don't know how else to say it. I really and truly don't. You need treatment. You need professional treatment. Do not you know, self-diagnose. It, it, it's just, you know, STDs here in the Philippines are almost as prevalent as coconuts. Don't, you know, there's a reason why bar girls or girls, women in the entertainment districts all have to have weekly hygiene checkups. But those checkups don't cover a lot of stuff. They're only going to cover the surface. So use a condom. That helps tremendously. That cuts down like 98% of the uh, chances or something like that. I don't remember the, the exact thing. So now how important is all of this? Well, let me tell you right now. There are forms, hold on, there are forms of gonorrhea that straight up penicillin won't touch anymore, okay? There are only two or three drugs of choice for some of these STDs. The resistance level of you know, an STD is a bacteria. Most STDs are bacteria. It's not all. There are viruses, obviously. Okay. But they are evolving to exist. And so they become more and more resistant to antibiotics. It's up to you to practice healthy, intimate relationships. It's up to you. It doesn't cost anything to say, you know what, honey, before we do this, we're going to go down the road and we're going to get tested. Then you got to believe that both of you aren't going to veer off the path. And that's a whole nother story here in the Philippines, isn't it? My point with all of this is you've got to understand this is not something that you should be self-diagnosing, that you should be self administering uh, your own drug formulas, and for God's sakes, it's not something that you're going to cure with herbs and other things. There are all kinds of, of, of home remedies, all right? I don't have faith in a lot of those. I really and truly do. The only one I might have faith with is genital warts respond to acid. So there's there, you know, there, there is this thing about vinegar and uh, genital warts, but that doesn't kill, kill the virus that's in your body. They can come back. You may be able to kill that one wart, but whatever. All right, I'm not going to give advice. Go see a real board-certified, currently licensed doctor. That's what's important here. All right? Don't die, don't self-diagnose. Don't prophylactically treat this. That is like the worst thing you can do. Please don't. Tell us what your thoughts are. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Doesn't matter to you at all. I well, you know what? We'd like to know. Thanks.